so it needs to dry for just a second, not minutes, just a second. That's enough. And then put on the other end, which is a very high sheen gloss. This is the difference. The gloss is very high sheen, as you can see. And I'm done. It sets the product. It My lips feel very moisturized. And... I don't know what else to say. It's wonderful. All right. All right. So now I am going to um, put on my gel eyeliner from It Cosmetics, the No Tug Gel Eyeliner. It's waterproof. Because it's gel, I can literally do this one in one handed without any um, using to, you know, to pull the flap down. Because look how that just goes right on. And I don't even have the tip end out very good. That's why it's not actually going on very well on the back side. So I did a couple of wipes. I actually did, did too bad, but that's okay. Here. Looks good. Looks good. Good luck, sheep. So. I just want to show you. The lipstick. Amazing. That's amazing. Put that up. Okay, so the color that I've been using is this bossy color right here. And it's in the identity palette. Okay. Well, there's the palette. And it's the identity palette from Persona. Y'all, it's been a great palette so far. So I am going to use in the top the um, color Humble. This is just a matte highlighter. Right under the brow. This makes it nice and light. Oops, my little hairs want to fall down in the way. There we go. And you can do a little wipe just to have a, a powder over the eye. As you see, it's not making a huge difference. And I am going to use the other side of that in Sassy, which is right next to it. And that is going to be my inner corner color, which is a frost. And it's lighter, as you can see. It's quite bright. I even use the corner up there, the leftovers of Sassy. There. Okay, now I'm going to use a... Um, why can't I talk today? E50 fluffy brush. And put down my transition color, which is charming. It's always kind of a caramel color is what I like. And you just put that from the brow, where we just were, down to the crease. And all it is is background color. That's all it is. And I usually start on the out, move in, bring it down good, and move back out, smooth it out. Do that on both sides. Out, in, 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 out. And all this does is give a backdrop for your canvas to blend the next color. Just so it's not such a harsh, and you may like a harsh. If you do, fine, go ahead. I have a scar right there, y'all. It's always so hard to get that blend right there. I don't know why. I, I, clearly, the, um, the skin texture is different. All right, and now I am going to use a flat shader, and that is an E60 from Sigma. And I'm going to put this color Bossy on my lid. I'm just going to start with the center, move outward, and then move inward, and kind of blend that, and then into the crease. Really blend it good on this outer area, because you know I want it a little darker out there. Come up a little. I'm going to do this on both sides. Ooh, I can hear that rain coming down. I do not look forward to driving in this mess. But I will not complain. I'm sorry. I cannot let myself complain about this with what the people have been through. Oh, and I do want to use this bossy. 
underneath my eye just with the edge of this and I am going to add that blue color but I want to get this as a backdrop first now the other thing to do is wet this which I just did and put it right back down in the center and look how that makes this color really coppery because you wet it really makes the color come alive. Bye, darling. Be careful, it's rainy. Look at the difference in this eye and this one. I feel like there's a big difference. And it's just because I wet it. And now just watch the difference in how shiny and how the color almost changes to be a little more coppery. The undertone that's in the shadow is much more pronounced now. And I'm coming up a little just in the middle to the crease. It's all right, Velvet. When she hears water, heavy water, rain, she knows thunders may be coming and she gets scared. Y'all just feel like this is really a good look. I like this color. Now I do need to do a little, um, where is it? I'm going to take a pencil brush, which is an E30, and I'm going to use this color in this Urban Decay, Urban Decay, which one is this? Shadow Box. And I'm using the color Moon Shadow, which is that blue I showed you. And I am going to add that in on the inner. Just a little. Just a little. Not going to the outer, just the inner. And then I will go ahead and blend that. Okay. Uh, I do not see my concealer again. Why do I keep doing that? Y'all. Where's oh there it is. I need to put it in a better place. Okay, this is my Match Perfection by Rimmel. By the way, it says it contains vitamin C and E, and it wears for up to 13 hours. And I gotta say, and this is in color number um, Fair Light, which is color number um, 230. And it's just a great product, y'all. It's nice and thin, but it's got good coverage. It's got very good lasting coverage. But it's not so heavy that it looks like cakey underneath or um, you know, it's not, it's not a heavy concealer. And I think that's the downfall of most concealers is that they're too heavy. Um, and when you look at people after they have them on, especially when they set it with powder or if they're older and, you know, setting with powder is like, <sighs> so I don't know why I even did that. Why did I even do that y'all a few minutes ago? <laughs> but anyway, um, it's just a nice, good, see how it gives that kind of brightness there? And then coming down the side of the nose with it, into that little jowl thing. Ah, but I should have done it sooner, yeah, because I just, um, I'm going to use another finger to kind of blend that down. So right there. Um. I should have done it sooner because that blue is going to be hard not to get that. Um, there we go. Yep, I got a little blue in there. <gasps> oh, okay, so that was a, not a good example. <laughs> also, make sure you blend down. And there. And there. I think that's actually good enough. Um, I should have really done that before <laughs> put on all the powder. I'm such a good tutorial, Anna. I can tell you what you should have done. All right, and now I'm just going to get a blending brush and blend the edges, which is right here in the front, either side, so there's not a line, and then also right in that transition area, kind of blending out those colors and then the edge. Just so it's not such harsh lines that they just kind of all blend together. But don't over blend. Like, don't get into the colors and blend them all together. Or you're going to have just 
a, like a muddy color. Now I've chosen browns, which is kind of a muddy color, but I just really think this is very rich, this bossy color. And then adding the blue is just the pop I needed. And now I'm going to use my um, DHC. Expert Pro, and then I'm going to have to leave you with that because I will need to give it time to dry before I put on my mascara. There we go. Both sides are kind of a little heavy today, but it's okay. Y'all can see this product just, it really does glide on. It's, and I just do little dashes and connect them. You know, that way it's not so hard to draw a line. You know, just if you did that in real life, if you draw a line and then you connect them, I mean, draw dashes and then you collect, collect I can't talk, connect them. Sorry, y'all. And I am going to have to go underneath that. But anyway, y'all, I don't know where I am. How many minutes are we? How many parts is the bigger question. Why well, about that? We're just fixing the end. So this is my look for the day. My look for the day, you guys. Oh, it's that i got to do my brows. But anyway, I love you guys. I will use my persona and use that dark brown for my brows. But I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Love you.